Hey, what's going on, guys? As you can tell from that first clip, I am the number one hunter in Destiny, and if you ever come across me, you'd better watch out. Welcome back to a new package opening. Of course, it is the final Iron Banner of Destiny 1, and I thought instead of taking you guys' comments, which I will still consider for the next week's bounties when I hand them in, I thought it would be only fitting to hand them all in in front of Lady Ephrodi. I think because of the last week especially, it's it's the right thing to do. It is also one month away from Destiny 2 being released, and I would say I can't wait, but I've said it so many times. I I need that game. I need that game right now. I don't know if you guys are feeling it as well, if you guys have been feeling it, but the game, of course, is just so dry at the moment. I thought they would add something to keep us entertained on top of the Iron Banner being the last of a time on Destiny 1. And I have received a few messages saying they love Destiny, but the game is just, at this point, so stale, and they just need that Destiny 2 to come along. And I'm right there with you. Okay, so this week we have a decent amount of extra bounties because of the Iron Banner ones, and we're going to get the Iron Banner ones out of the way first, so we're going to go with the weapons just to kick things off. We have a Distant Star... And where's the other weapon? There it is. So we need Distant Star and a Titanium Orchid. I specifically remember the Scout Rifle never dropping from when it first came out. It took me about two months to get it after it first came out. And by then, everyone already got one and it was, it was boring news by then. So already the life support perk is, is there and has a light, nice glow. And I think that glow comes from if you're standing near Lady Ephrodi. I don't know if that's exactly the only place it happens, but you guys will notice it's... Uh, that's not my colour correction doing that. It's the game. So right off the bat, we have life support and Icarus. So Icarus... Mm, life support, maybe. I've really did undervalue life support for the longest time. What else do we have? Single point sling and extended mag, brace frame, and to finish off old frame. And the best perks there would probably be brace frame, extended mag, and life support. I remember when this thing first came out and everyone was calling it like the legendary multi-tool. I don't think it's as good as a multi-tool, but it's it really is nice to use. It's so smooth. And what about this titanium orchid? Grenades and horseshoes, clown cartridge, single point sling, speed reload, javelin, and perfect balance. Not the greatest of perks with this thing. It's really weird to have this being the last Iron Banner of Destiny 1. It sort of, it really does make you realize that this is it for Destiny 1. I mean, of course the game's not going to be gone, but it's going to be, in terms of player base, really, really lowered. And it's kind of a sad thought, to be honest. But at the same time, the game's always going to be there, and Destiny 2, I hope, is going to bring the love for Destiny 1 everyone had at the Year 1 especially. It's going to bring that back. And let's hand in the armor pieces. Grips, which is increased reload speed for Scout Rifle. I've never been a person to carefully examine armor. The main thing I critique is really if it has intellect and discipline on it. And we also got a cloak, which, uh, which I don't think I have to say much about. On to the Crucible bounties, and we're going to go for the Shax bounties first. I did two of them this week, so we're going to get the Supremacy one done, and we get an Unending Deluge, and the second one, which is the Control, and we get 19 Strange Coins. I have like 2,000 Strange Coins, and I have no idea what to do with them. If you guys have any ideas what I could possibly buy that will be I don't know, I don't know about useful, but maybe for a fun video or something that I could do with them, then do let me know, because they're just gathering dust at the moment, and I'm not talking about silver dust either. Oh, my jokes are terrible. Okay, so this week it was almost identical again with auto rifles, hand cannons, shotguns, I think shotguns was fusion or sniper last time, and we have sidearms and heavy. So let's go ahead and hand in heavy and sidearm, and let's go shotgun at the same time. So we have a titanium orchid, an Anton's rule, and a matador. Let's look at this Anton's rule first. We have hot swap, fitted stock, high caliber rounds, mulligan, and crowd control. That is pretty decent, you know, like crowd control. Control, fitted stock, and hot swap. Wouldn't that be the best option for that? The only sidearm I ever use is the Iron Banner one. So when it comes to like Anton Rules or the Wormwood, I, I, I've i never used them. I really I really don't think I've ever used a Wormwood. What about this Matador? I mean, I've got so many Matadors already that are just ridiculous for old. Look how gold that looks. We have Crowd Control, Hammer Forged, Injection Mold, Hand Laid Stock, and a Performance Bonus. Performance Bonus was one of the my one of my favorite perks on the Matador when I religiously used it. Quite a nice roll to be honest. And we also have Aggressive Ballistics for these sites as well. And Ending Deluge. I think I have like 50 of these now. Well, I don't have them, but I've received them. So we have Persistence, Quick Draw, Brace Frame, Armor Piercing Rounds, and to finish off Eye of the Storm. And we have Soft Ballistics and Linear Compensator as well. And to finish off the Heavy Weapons, we have another Titanium Orchid with Grenades and Horseshoes, Cluster Bomb, Quick draw, speed reload, javelin, and perfect balance. Was that the first one I received? Was that a different one? Or am I just reading them with the same one again? No, it was definitely a different one. Arguably the most two exciting bounties now, the auto rifle and the hand cannon. So let's go with auto rifle first. We have the hex caster. It's now not exciting anymore. And let's hand in the hand cannons while we get another pally. <laughs> Look at this, I don't need any more hand cannons, man. Check out this golden hex caster. We have third eye, hand loaded, appended magazine, small bore, and glass half full. I think I'm just spoiled of hand cannons nowadays. And speaking of hand cannons, let's check out this pally. Rangefinder, small bore, 
high caliber rounds, mulligan and rescue mag. That is a pretty bad roll for a for a pally. I gotta I gotta admit. Well, that's all my bounties handed in. Uh, as you can see, look, we did we didn't overlap crucible, guys. Come on, leave a like for that. I, I'm I'm so aware of this game now. Well, that's everything handed in on the hunter. Let's now move on to the titan and see if we get any better weapons. I sure hope so. Here we are now, guys, on our Titan, and hopefully we have some better luck this time, because on the Hunter, we just got some pretty dire weapons. I think the best one was the Sidearm and also the Distant Star Scout Rifle. Hopefully the Titan has some more luck. We're going to go straight away into the Iron Banner Bounties first. All of them at once. Unbent Tree, two Unbent Trees, and Gauntlets, and I believe that was a Artifact. So we've got Gauntlets with Discipline and Strength, and also we have the Artifact, which I have like 500 of these things. You guys are probably also sick of getting Artifacts constantly. They always drop in the Iron Banner. They always drop from these bounties as well. And for the two Unbent Trees, we have, we're going to look at this Stability one first. So we have Counterbalance to start off with. Focus Fire, Single Point Sling, Casket Mag, Hammer Forge, and to finish off we have Brace Ring. And I don't really know what the best perks with this gun are, so if you guys are experts with the Unbent Tree, then do let me know. And let's look at the other one we got. So we start off with Hidden Hands, Focus Fire again, Quick Draw again, Armor Piercing Rounds, Small Bore, and to finish off we have Brace Ring once again as well. That was about it for the Iron Banner Bounties. Let's move on to the regular Crucible Bounties now, starting off with the two Shacks ones here. We have the another Unending Deluge. It must be such a common thing to get. An Immolation Fist, Unending Deluge, we meet again. So what do we have here? Persistence, Quick Draw, Brace Frame, Rifle Barrel, and also Counterbalance. Not too bad, you know. And Immolation Fists. Have I ever used Immolation Fists? I don't think so. But that's mainly because I love shoulder charging with the Sunbreaker subclass. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so let's move on to the main bounties now, and that should get us to our next Crucible level. What one should we go with first? I think we should go with the best ones first. Let's go with Hand Cannons and Auto Rifles first. Let's go... Revelator. Mm, that, you know, I used that a couple weeks ago. Pretty much, I asked you guys to pick the worst class ever, and the Revelator was part of it. And it was really as terrible. Auto rifle. Another Unbent Tree. Is Bungie trying to tell me something this week? Three, look at that. Three of them in a row. <laughs> okay, I'm curious to see this Revelator. Let's see. Life Support, Hammer Forge, Reinforced Barrel, Feather Mag, and Exhumed. Okay, I think Exhumed for this gun is completely useless, but this is a much better roll than I got the other week, because the roll I got the other week, I don't even think I got anything to boost range, I think it was pure stability pretty much. And what about this Unbent Tree that uh, Bungie really wants me to use? Uh, counterbalance again, Focus Fire again, Quick Draw, a pen and Magazine, Hammer Forged, and Reinforced Barrel, that's almost identical to the one I got previously. Last three bounties, let's go Shotguns now, and also Heavy Weapons, let's, let's just go with all of them. So we get a Curtain Call, another Unending Deluge, and a Havoc Pigeon. The luck I've received this week on my Titan has been terrible. Lady Ephrodite, what are you doing to me? Do you hate me? Why do you hate me? Havoc Pigeon, let's see what we have here. Hand loaded, high caliber rounds, Reinforced Barrel, Cascade, and Danger Close. That is not a great roll. What about this curtain call we have here? Rangefinder, rifle barrel, lightweight, close and or personal, and also battle runner. See, that's a much better roll. What else did we get? We Oh yeah, of course, we got an unending deluge again. <laughs> we have surplus, high caliber rounds, injection mold, small bore, and take a knee. If I get another one of these unending deluges on my warlock, there's going to be trouble. Well, that was all my bounties done, and I think that was... It's fair to say that was worse than my Hunter bounties. If you guys have been having a good week or bad week with these bounties, do let me know whether that's Iron Banner or just these regular Crucible ones. So we're going to go to the tower real quick and see what we get from this Crucible package. Jax, please. All I'm asking for is a good roll weapon. And please do not give me a curtain call or a, well, something wicked. Or an each new day. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. Hidden hands, perfect balance, snapshot, battle runner, and life support. Okay, that is a decent roll. I've not a clue about hidden hand on a fusion rifle though. But aside from that, that's decent. So you guys, let's move on to my final character, which is my warlock, and see if our luck worsens. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second. On the warlock canal, and I've got to admit to you guys, it feels pretty weird that these iron banner bounties are going to be the final iron banner bounties I'm going to be handing in, in terms of uh, Destiny 1. So I hope our last bounties are quite decent for us, so let's check out what we get. I think I'm going to do my Iron Banner Bounties last, just because it's the very last Iron Banner Bounties that I'm ever going to be handing in. We have a Matador and a Dragon's Breath to start off with. Shout out to Flemdot, he loves a Dragon's Breath. What do we have on this Matador here? We have Rangefinder, Lightweight, Quick Draw, Reinforced Barrel, and Performance Bonus. And once again, a solid roll, Performance Bonus, Reinforced Barrel, and Rangefinder is 
perfect. And it also has accurized ballistics and aggressive ballistics. Hand cannons, what are you going to give me? You're going to give me an ill will. Interesting. Heavy weapons as well. Steel Oracle and sidearms. Check out this Anton's rule to start off with. Reactive reload. Hand loaded. Lightweight. Zen moment and army of one. I love reactive reload, but the rest of these perks, uh, maybe aside from hand loaded, the rest of them are just not that useful. Okay, the ill will. I see luck in the chamber already. It's a good start. We have also snapshot, reinforced barrel, feather mag, and range fight. That's god roll. That's pretty much, that's a god roll. Wow, okay. <laughs> True sight and sure shot as well. I think that is like the god roll if you want the two tap hand cannons. That is perfect. Still Oracle as well. We have clown cartridge, fitted stock, flared magwell javelin, and tripod. You know, it's not the best roll I've seen. Let's finish this up with shotguns and auto rifles. What do we have with shotguns? Another curtain call, and to finish it off, we have a Hakon's Hatchet. Notice some of you guys on my previous Iron Banner video saying that you want another one of these auto rifles, or wish that Lady Ephrodite was selling them this week. Let's check out what we get with this. We have Eye of the Storm, Lightweight, Old Frame, Reinforced Barrel, and Persistence. I don't think that's a great roll of this particular auto rifle. And another curtain call, Rangefinder. Hammerforge, Lightweight, Replenish, and Army of One. And finally, we have the final Iron Banner bounties of the entire Destiny 1. Okay, so we got two vestments and an artifact. Finally, the weapons, we have a Clever Dragon, always nice to get, and a Binding Blaze. So let's check out this Clever Dragon. We have Rangefinder, Outlaw, Snapshot, Feather Mag, Perfect Balance, and Injection Mold. It's been a while since I've received a Clever Dragon, and the perks are pretty decent. And lastly, the Barney Blaze sidearm, we have Battle Runner, Crowd Control, Quick Draw, High Caliber Rounds, Speed Reload, and Reinforced Barrel. Not too bad, but the second row of perks aren't too great. And to finish off the video, we're going to go to Shax and see what we have for our Crucible package. Shax, what have you got for me? And Anton's Rule. What, why do you want me to use sidearms? Why do you want me to use these sort of weapons? Okay, Anton's Rule. We have Reactive Reload, Hand Loaded, Lightweight, Relentless Tracker, and Feeding Frenzy. I think that is the third or fourth Anton's Rule we've received this week. So that's all my bounties handed in now guys. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said before, let me know what you got this week. Any weapons or anything of that sort you're still after. Please do leave a like if you did enjoy it and also subscribe if you're new around here. And aside from that guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.